I no longer have any disassembled launch rocket launchers, but let me try to show you a uh, mostly put together one that maybe will give some clues as to how to assemble this since the other video was taken down. So obviously we have the pump, we have the bottle, we have everything, assuming you have all the parts uh, listed on the website here that you need. The way you put this sucker together is you have three T's, one on the right side, one on the left, one in the middle. Uh, this T right here, you have two legs. I think these are what, 15 or 18 inches long, something like that. And I PVC glued those into this T. Then I have, I think about a six or eight inch piece that kind of comes out the middle here. And we'll go into this T, which is vertical. That's gonna be your launching tube. So you want that perpendicular, make sure per perpendicular to the ground and perpendicular to these um, when you glue it. So just make sure when you're gluing it, everything is in the right order. Same thing with the glue on this side. Um, on the end, I have the three quarter inch PVC caps that have also been glued on there. This whole system is gonna be pressurized, so you can't just put them on, you gotta have them glued. On the back side here is where I drilled, um, pre-drilled a PVC cap, and then that was big enough to put the tire valve stem through. Um, I also put some silicone caulk around it once it got through, just to make sure no leaks ever happened. Um, but the pressure from this should push the valve stem in and not be a problem at all. Uh, but that is then also PVC glued here. And I also have a depressurization kind of emergency valve that is glued on this end. Um, and if you need to, in an emergency, you can depressurize the system and psh, it'll all go out like that. And then you turn it back like this to repressurize the system. Um, so now, off of the middle T here, I'm gonna kind of move some parts around. Uh, there is about from here to here, I think it's like a four inch piece of PVC. That's three quarter inches uh, underneath the black here. Um, and then you can see that it goes to a, this, this coupler. Um, this coupler is a reducer that, um, or has a reducer in it that will then go from three quarter inch PVC down at the bottom to half inch PVC right here. Uh, and then I basically snipped off about a, a so it sticks out about a half an inch. The PVC sticks about a half an inch above the coupler here. I snipped the rest of that half inch PVC pipe. And then right here in the middle, I've glued a piece of chapstick container. So this is the slider of a chapstick um, or lip balm, whatever you want to call it. And it just so happens to fit the inner diameter of these really, really well. So I glued that onto there. And then what you're going to do is take one of these 093 rings, slide that on there, and this is going to, you know, be the gasket that prevents any air from escaping um, when the bottle is on. You don't want to glue, oh, by the way, then you'll put on, but this is kind of the launch tube, the launch rod, and that just slides over the top. You can push it down like that, piece of cake. You don't want to glue this on because when these O-rings inevitably wear out after a couple of years, um, you want to be able to take this piece back off and replace the O-ring, so that's why it's there. On the bottom part down here, uh, you'll notice there is a pipe clamp. And that pipe clamp is kind of holding the array of zip ties um, to the pipe down here. So I, I've taped the zip ties together in like Gorilla Tape, and then I ro kind of rolled that around uh, the whole entire pipe. The idea here is this slider, this PVC or the ABS piece of slider that's on the outside, this is going to come up over the top of when the bottle is on, sitting on here like so. Actually, I can just show you. So here comes the bottle. There's the bottle. It's made of seal. And hopefully you can see that um, right here, you have the zip ties that have all gone over the top of the lip of there. And so this is gonna be the thing that, these are gonna be the zip ties that hold the bottle to the, the launcher as it's pressurized. So what happens is you just slide this sleeve up and now that sleeve is basically forcing all of the zip ties to um, stay on top of the bottle. So you just got to make sure that when you're taping these and clamping them on there, you can kind of just tape these all together and move them up and down as a unit until they get to the right place where they're holding right over the top of the bottle. And then once you got it in position, you can then um, use the pipe clamp to really tighten things up. Alrighty. So the last little bit here then is you can see I just kind of drilled some simple holes on the side of this slider. Um, I have some stakes, like yard stakes, and for that I just put the pulley on a stake right here. 
oops, kind of go backwards like that. Um, but the idea here is, I give myself some more slack. There you go. Uh, the idea here is this kind of redirects the angle of the force of the pull and makes this sucker pull straight down. Uh, I also use garden stakes. These ones are kind of short. I would maybe recommend a little bit longer, but I like kind of sticking this into the ground and making sure it doesn't really move anywhere, especially when you got students around. You can find other ways of putting this into the ground if you need to. Um, some folks jerk a little vigorously when they put these on, so just be aware of that. All right, so we'll pretend it's all in the ground like so. Uh, and I'll make a little video here and see if it still works with the launch in just a second. All right, so we'll got the pump hooked up. We'll see how well this works. You can see I have the sleeve and the collar up over there, so the zip ties are holding that down. It's making a nice, pretty good seal here. When I do this with students, and I have a lot, I just get a ba car battery and an electric uh, car pump and a like, car tire pump, and that helps things out pretty well. So I think I got with this down to about 20 or 30 pounds. So for a test, this ought to work. I don't have very much water in there. You guys can fool around with that and figure out what works best and what's not. That's the whole point of this, right? Uh, so let's see here. You can see I have my string. Ideally, this would be like 20 or 30 feet long, but three, two, one. And there it goes. Uh oh. And my neighbor now has a plastic bottle that I gotta go get. Yeah.